democracy, Tinubu should be in prison because you have no business, Bulova, being in your home. Is that the people you want to fall in? And for that, INEC telling us they want to use MCO law and more to distribute. INEC, whoever said that should be arrested and put in prison, right? When schools were closed for months, all these governors shouting for redesigning or scarcity of money. Were they shouting? No, because their kids are all abroad. It doesn't concern them. They did not shout for the federal government or for the president to open the school. When people were being killed, kidnapped, did you see them? But it has come to their money, their pocket, what affects them, they are all shouting. No, they are not shouting because they have your interests at heart. It's because of their own selfish interests. So there is Nigeria. The choice is yours and it is glaring. Do you want a new Nigeria where you can travel peacefully without fear of being kidnapped and held to ransom? There is organ harvesting business. Look at the report coming from Anambra State. The people we put in power are killing you, harvesting your ear, and you're calling it Babala. There is not a migration. They are, they are harvesting people's organs and selling it in international market business that is striking. Yet we have a government that has failed us. Is that the same government we want to vote in as a people? And to all my fellow celebrities, endorsing Tinubu, endorsing Martin, shame on me. I know most of you are all about stomach infraction. Would you bam it if you want it? What you will eat? How do you see a man like, like Bola Meti? Don't you even think about the future of that little boy or that little children you all have? Don't you think about them? See, if you're following any celebrity to endorse any stupid politician, let me tell you, they have the face and the name, they'll go to embassy. When the chips are down, they will go to the embassy, get visa, and they will evacuate with their family. But you will be there suffering. If you see any celebrity endorsing Atiko and Bola, call them out. It's a shame. They don't care about you. They have the face. They can travel. They will take money. They will sing. Uh, shame on all of you. Even those I used to have respect for. But because of what you will eat, they will say you, I can give you one million naira. Give you money. You will come and be yap, 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 yap. But you do not care about the people who fan you. Their life, their well-being. People are dying in hospital. People are being kidnapped every day. People can take money to eat. People can go to school. College students can graduate. There is no light. There is no water. There is nothing functioning. And you want us to vote for the same people and party that has given us this pain and suffering for the past, God knows, 1999 now? I don't want to start calling all of you, but would you I know how many of you were begging. I have worked with all of you. Shame. Most of you, you don't know shame because of what you want to eat. You're not thinking about tomorrow. Your children, your grandchildren, your sisters, your auntie, your uncles. So you can pepper them, show them. No. Shame on all of you. So dear Nigerians, any Nigerian celebrity, that will tell you to vote for the same government or the same parties that have brought us to our names, cause them out as a shame on them. And I'm going to be begging you, the election is next. I see so many crazy things happening. For most of you who are young, in the 90s, most of us had to be running. My father was in the military. We were planning on either running to Kotonu or back to our village when June 12th happened. As you can see in Lagos, they have deployed military everywhere. I seen this the officer of this election and an interim government against them. But I will beg you that we can avert that. If you go, you vote peacefully and go home. Do not engage anybody. When you see people trying to raise alarm, call the attention of police, call the attention of everybody. Let us be peaceful. There's no need to fight each other. But I say to you, Nigeria will be okay. We have the opportunity to rewrite the story. I believe in a quality education. I believe in a sustainable
sustainable economy he's going to be giving this nation. I believe in his vision of taking us from a country of consumption to a country of production. I believe in his dream of refinancing the banking sector, the economic sector, the academic sector, and every sector that will impact the lives of Nigeria positively. So I will say to you, I am obedient and I'm useful and I will endorse everybody or employ everybody following me. So please, have a moment of reflection with yourself. Look beyond what you will gain today. Look out for a Nigerian that will be sustainable and beneficiary to you and I and make that decision. you election is coming next week saturday use your pvc vote wisely for peter and i judge you and i endorse this